back to another one of these videos. Today I thought, well then when I was filming this, I thought, hey, why not we do a sketchbook video? But not just any video, and a, a DIY the wasm it of your sketchbook to make it seem more less, I mean, less intimidating to actually fill in because it already looks trash from the outside. Okay, some stuff on the floor that I found that include uh, included contact paper, checkered flavored, um, packaging from Bora Couture, uh, um, basketball cards, um, this sticker from this brand, um, you can read it, my dad, um, yin and yang, um, uh, chicken flavored french fries paper, um, scrunch, 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 um, scrunch paper, um, the packaging that I put my prints in, um, this Jimin card, oh, uh, this music, um, paper, um, this a bunch of, um, art, um, uh, my Vic Rhodes, um, driver's license receipt, oh, okay, Vinny's, um, closing, closing tat, eight dollars, not bad for what I got, I forgot what I got, and yeah, that's it, <sighs> why did I edit it so fast? <sighs> okay, um, oh, scissors, oh, okay, what is wrong with that, um, I have a thought that, you know, maybe I should make some serious bits in this video. So I'm gonna be, um, transforming, not transforming, circul- not, um, partnering up with my, um, the other parts that I just talk with, you know, like some tips on sketchbooking. I can't give you any skips, skips, any tips with sketchbooking, um, <sighs> any tips with sketchbooking because I myself have never filled one out. Yes, that may be hard to believe. Like I have, but they're not the sketchbooks that you see. You know, they're not sketchbooks. They're just pages of art in them that happen to be filled. And I guess you could say that those are sketches, but I don't really see them as sketches because they're not from a consecutive time period. They're from times where I think I need, I need actual good paper and I'm just gonna use the paper from this book because it's actually pretty good. I don't do that. And nowadays I don't even do that anymore because I just have loose, loose pieces of paper that I just do. And I mess up on one of those pieces of paper. They're, they're its own individual. There's no ties tying them down, you know? I think with this project, I'm trying to be more loose, I would say, more lenient with myself because I don't like doing art unless it's worth it. <laughs> That's like been my mentality for a while now, like a long, long while. And I feel like I am kind of losing um, bits of art from doing that. Like I could have put out so much art, but I was just myself too proud, I guess. Proud or just, just unable to do that. And like I say, I don't do it because I don't want to, but it's more of a, maybe I can't actually do it because I've never actually tried or haven't put the effort in trying. So maybe with this book, maybe I'll do stuff with it. But the thing is, right now, I'm kind of regretting choosing this book because it's kind of a thick boy and it's kind of massive and it's kind of annoying to bring around and like, it's not like the sketchbook size, but you know, I'm, I'm just going to stick with it because it's gonna be filled it's gonna have to be filled one day um i can always that's probably another challenge of it and if anything i can do one with a smaller piece of paper and just stick it in i'm just gonna do whatever i want with this one so yeah i think that's enough of the seriousness of this video because i have no other seriousness to say and i really need to pee so that's a really serious topic that I think we have to address right now because I am pacing back and forth in the garage and I really need to pee. Um, okay, I'm gonna go now and you guys can enjoy watching this. Anyways, so I thought we should just have a little conversation. Uh, I don't know what to talk about. Um, I'm currently, what do you want to talk about? I don't, I don't know. I guess I have to start because, um, this is, this is, um, anyways, I thought maybe we should address some questions that I've been having lately, like, um, if bugs didn't exist, like, if we managed to find a reason why the ecosystem would thrive without the presence of bugs, how 
different would our food be? Yeah, I don't know how to, how do you even answer that question? Like, obviously, I'm thinking, I'm going to have to think about what bugs do to our food for it to have an impact on how it would, like, taste or even, like, look. Without the presence of bugs, surely you would know that, um, there would be no bug bites in your food, your vegetables, and all that. Blah, blah, blah. But, like, if, what do bugs do that have a impact on the taste of it would i i don't know i think my thought was like um if there is no bugs then bugs can't fart or poop on your food and then that would somewhat get rid of the taste or flavor that we've been having all these years because bugs don't poop on your food anymore because there are no bugs and I think this thought was more um, natural geographic worthy in my head, but now that I've said it out loud, I don't think I can really reason why I thought this. Let's just move on to the second question. Where, where do vegetable seeds come from? It, like, I understand fruit seeds because I have, well, my mother likes to stick avocado seeds into water and see the roots sprout. And I do realize that potatoes are in itself its own seed because once you plant that little sucker down into the ground, it will grow into whatever it is now, like more of them. Another vegetable that I was thinking of was carrots. Like if you were to stick a carrot into the ground, would it grow other carrots? Thing is like, these are questions that I could possibly look up on the internet, but I have no reason to and I have no desire to because I like to think I think that I don't like to look up things so that I have a reason to question things so that I don't have to... I don't know, it just makes me seem like a um, quirky, like chaotic individual to have these questions in my head. But they're genuine questions, I just don't have the attention span to actually look this up because once I actually go back inside the house, I will probably have like another question that I will Google. It just depends on the events of when I think of this question, I guess, and whether or not I will actually Google it. I feel like I did have a third question, but I don't remember what it was. I, on the news the other day, there was this little kid, there was this, there was this little kid that said scissors, paper, rock, and that infuriated me. Which misguided, brain-muddled individual chose to misguide this poor, poor, sweet, little, little, vulnerable, innocent, um, manipulative, clay child to think that scissors, paper, rock was like the way to make friends in kindergarten. Like if I went rocked up to kindergarten orientation and this little kid holds out her fist and just spouts the demon spawn verses of scissors, paper, rock, I would, I would run immediately. I would push her into the sandbox and run. Like a scissors, paper, rock, like I don't, I think I'm being this is the internet. I have to be over dramatic, but it's it's scissors. It's rock paper scissors. It's rock paper. I think it's like now I'm trying to think of who taught me that it was rock paper scissors. Cause like that little girl could grow up one day and think that all these imbeciles saying rock paper scissors. But the thing is like you look up rock paper scissors and it's a tournament. Rock paper scissors tournament, not scissors paper rock. It will autocorrect to rock paper scissors. Um. This also got me thinking about, you know, the other types of childhood games that people uh, mis mislabel, like, um, down ball. I, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of in the wrong, but the thing is, I think that even if I was in the wrong, I would choose down ball over the other names that people call it, like, Foursquare. Who the actual ding dong decided that Foursquare was the right term to, to label this game, like, Two squ like four square, I get it, cause it's like, what is it, king, queen, um, jack, duns, whatever, whatever the fuck, um, but then there's two square, two square is just too fucking intimate, like, for my taste, like, two square, there's only two of you actually playing at one time, no, well, it could be, but I think that's because you can't find any more squares, or you lack the amount of friends to play with. I don't like the fact that people have to stand on the sidelines. That's why I choose to not call it or limit it to four or two squares. Like, that's why down ball is such a... What is it? What's the name again? Anti... I'm just gonna... Anti-segregational name. Because it's just... 
down ball. You you hit the ball down. That's that's it. You know. Anyways, um, when people do art and they add like words to it, like the one that I did recently, I feel like people view them as like some some poetic god. Like po like your life is just poems and rainbows and sadness because. The binary god goodness, you know what I mean. Um, is is the thing is like um, my life is subject to surface level metaphors. I'm literally just putting down what did what did I write? What am I running away from? What was I running away from? I was running away from a lot of things, but they're like、uh, you can run away from anything. Like um. Bugs. I saw this bug this today, like when I was walking home from、um, the gym. It was like this beetle, it was like a, and like a massive ant, but it had blue wings. Like, do they even have those in Australia? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but they do because I just saw one. But like, it looks so fake that I thought it was like some kid's remote control bug that was kind of like trying to scare me or something. But I would, if it was, I would have snatched that little bug up and just taken it home. Like, it was so beautiful. It looked fake. Like, the body was so black and so like, what's the word? Like, you flash a light to it and then like it beams back at you. It was so like, oh, shiny. It was so shiny. Um. I thought it, was, it would. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like black metal or something. And then it had blue wings. Like it was had blue, like shiny wings and attached to it. And it was trying to fly away. I feel like it was kind of de- dying though, because it tried to fly away a little bit and then it didn't. And then I tried to follow it, but then it, it tried to fly away again. And I felt bad because it's using all its energy trying to get away from me. So I just walked away. And um, yeah. What was I talking about? Bugs. Uh, oh, metaphors, right? Um, yeah, metaphors are great. You know, uh, I don't think that was the word I was trying to look for. Metaphors. I don't think I'm that poetic of an individual. I just like to add words because I feel like it adds. I don't know. It adds more artistic flair. I don't think it's something that I really、um, relate to. Like I could relate to that any time. I I don't think. I feel like I do put some. Like of course, if I'm gonna be sad and I'm gonna draw, I will most likely draw either a happy face, a, a, a happy, happy smiley face, for irony, or a teardrop somewhere underneath an eye. Cause you know, just subtle, subtle, subtle symbolism, you know. But the thing is, like, poem, poetry just scares me. I have a, I could probably think of those words. But not in that sentence tree, sentence tree, sentence coherent expressionism, me, um, and all that. But you know, it's just like it's like wow. Like I could not do that. Like imagine if I turn like some of the phrases I put into my art into like actual poems. Like what is it? Um, what have I said? What have I said? Um, what am I running away from? Okay, let's do a po. Let's do some poetry, shall we? Um, what am I running away from? The evening sun of the lonely moon, Capricorns and needles too. I don't seem to see the end of the spoon. Cereal bowls give me diabetes and. Um, lactic acid. Poo. Oh, okay, we're done. Okay, bye bye.